uh, just getting ready for another lockdown. Stocking up all the essentials. I should do it. So the farmer's given us a box of apples. Um, so today I'm gonna make an apple crumble. Yeah? That brings us nicely around to, I'm gonna test some of your little knowledge. Yeah. Okay, so, I'll give you a line, and you need to give me the line back. Is it a high line? One of your lines. Is it a song? Yeah, you can sing it back if you if you want. This horn with granddads. This horn with granddads. It's my only real possession. Well done. Next one. Oh, yeah, of course there's more. But when the night turns still and when the air begins to freeze. What? When the night turns still, the air begins to freeze. Shit, what's that? Was I in this show? What's the next? What is the next one? If you hold your breath and listen, you'll hear... You hear a whistle through the breeze! Yeah. Well done. Well, you need to work from Parade. Oh! Apparently oh. you played uh, your daughter. I had to do the star as well. Do you know what? I actually did try to get to that. Because yeah. I had another friend in it as well. And me and my friend Hillary were in the car driving and we just got stuck in traffic. And we couldn't get there. So you just turned around? Yeah, well. No, we, we, pers we persevered for a really long time actually. Yeah. And then went to the cinema. Wait. Oh, what did you see? something good but not as good as parade which no. i'm obsessed with no, from parade yeah let all the blood of the north spill let upon them the all the blood of the north spill upon them the of home no maybe what's let the next line let all the blood from the north spill upon them is that all the what's the next line oh shit but they're quite similar but i think i know what it is let all the blood from the north spill upon them till Oh, can I go? Yes. Yeah, so they've paid for what they brought. Yes! They've paid for what they brought. To the 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 okay, yeah. okay. He's in this show and he knows it. I did actually do it at Mount View. I'm yeah. barely yeah. remembering yeah. this show that we're in right now. Were well, you the young soldier? No, no, I wasn't the young soldier. No, I was um, Jim Connolly. Uh, Jim Connolly. We'll give you another one from Company, shall we? Oh, sure, okay, yeah. Today is for Amy. Today is for Amy. Amy, I give you the rest of my life to honour and to give you. Good boy. Well done. There's my mum and brother, loving our lives. So this is uh, about 10 minutes down the road from where I used to live. Um, when I was a kid, has it changed? I was a bit worried I was gonna run out, so uh, we've come and got some more. Panic, panic over, we have Prosecco. Hmm, okay. So, let's, uh... oh, cute look. A little scarf. That's just a. Just tastes like dairy milk to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's got orange in it, but. Literally cannot tell the difference. But yeah, nice dairy milk. I mean, buy yourself a bar of dairy milk. Um, also, look at this. I bought a nice fancy bottle of Prosecco for uh, Will and Joe, just as a little thank you for uh, tomorrow night. Pretty though, isn't it? £12 for Master, but 25% off if you buy six. So we bought 20. 
Oh, actually, there is a bit of an aftertaste. Yeah, I could definitely detect orange. Um, yeah. Yeah, a little bit actually. Um, I'll just cleanse my palette. Oh wait, am I supposed to do that first? Just taste like chocolate. And I don't get the election. Like, they're saying that more people voted this year, but Trump's still neck and neck, so that must mean that, yeah, more people have voted, but more people voted for him. So what does that mean? It means the world's fucked. And basically, everybody's a cunt, and they all think like Trump. Yeah. I'm going to go on news night tonight and say that. Hello. So today's a very special day. I'm on my way to Manchester to watch the press night of Rent at the Hope Mill Theatre. Now, this is a show which amazingly managed to open just in time before lockdown starts again tomorrow. So this sadly means that they will only get to do one press night tonight before the production is shut down and will move online. But I'm going to enjoy every second of it. I love the Hope Mill Theatre. This is the 15th show that I've seen created by the Hope Mill and they do an amazing, amazing job. And now in order to keep safe, I'm having to drive to Manchester in my mask. I'm going to watch the show and then come straight back without seeing anybody which is a shame because I know a few people in the cast and the boys but I get to see the show and I cannot wait so I've got my mask on and I've just arrived here at the Hope Mill Theatre look at that talk about a red carpet pushing the boat out absolutely lovely. I can't wait let's go in so I've just got here I've got to have a little program and this there over there is uh, Joe and Will who run the Hope Mill I'm talking to the Pearsons who cast the show so I've just ordered a quick pizza to eat before the show I cannot wait so I've ordered a pizza which means I can take my mask off to eat it um, I'm sat by myself anyway but look over there like, that table over there has got a perspex screen right down the middle of it so two separate couples can sit on it and not <laughs> so weird. I mean, it's great, but it's weird. Oh my god, my favourite thing. Press night cupcakes. This is going to go in 30 seconds. 20. For any um, S Club Junior fans or Hamilton fans, there's Jay Perry. Wave. <laughs> He's sat on a different table, so I can't speak to him. But um, it's looking good. That cupcake was so good. I'm definitely going to try and steal another one. So I've got my mask and my safety visor and I'm in these like little first box prison. Um not gonna lie, it's a bit snug because of the extra COVID weight that I've got. Uh, but I've got to say, look at the leg room. Like I mean I'm sure but that is excessive. Um all this is very very good. I'll wait for this to start. director and co-founder here at the Hope Mill Theatre. I'd like to welcome all of you. I've been doing a sort of little speech and intro every, every evening before the show, um, but 
tonight, I felt like I had to write it down. Um, so bear with me. Welcome to this special show of Rent. Special for so many reasons, but mainly that it's not only our official opening night, but also the final public performance here at the venue. On the 16th of March this year, we were forced into our first lockdown and our beloved venue was plunged into darkness for the first time this year. It was then when we made the decision to postpone our previously planned summer production of Rent. With the support of our board, we then started the long and difficult task of planning to open not only the show, but the venue. We have worked so hard under ever-changing and shifting guidelines and our venue staff have been incredible. Their hard work and support, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart to all of you, thank you. It was so important to Will and myself that we did everything within our means and power to get this production on its feet. We could see the devastating impact that COVID was having on our industry and we wanted to bring hope that the show must go on. We are so proud to have employed over 60 freelancers during this process. From wigs and makeup to stage crew, and of course, the 12 wonderful actors you see before you. This show was really a labor of love and passion, and I'd like to thank our creative team, helmed by the exceptional Luke Shepherd, all of the production and stage management, the band, front of house, and of course, our company for believing in us. It was important for us to tell the story of Rent in the fullest, but also the safest way possible. So the cast were placed into one bubble here in Manchester, into one household after COVID testing. Imagine the Big Brother house, but the musical is pretty much what it is. You, I, I just had to stop looking at the Instagram posts. Um, as we prepare to go dark one more time, we are thrilled that we have managed to capture the show and that we will get to secure uh, the production's future with audiences online. This show was created for the stage and to be experienced live. And here tonight for all of you, we get to one final time, share the creativity, passion and heart that has gone into this production. So for the final time, it gives me the greatest honour to introduce Rent. That was that wow. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit emotional. Um, that was sensational. If you've got a ticket to watch it online, you're in for a treat. I'm not even going to begin to single people out because everybody in that show was incredible.
Moo! Moo with me! Don't think they want to move with me. Moo with me! Moo! A little bit of interest. They're coming now. Hi, lads. Moo! No? I'm not having it. I'm dead sexy. Got my joppers on. Woo. Gonna go ride some horses. I'm not really, I'm just gonna go for a little walk. Looks pretty though, doesn't it? You can't see anything, can you? So I think this is where we get our water from. And I think there, there's some sheep pissing in it. That's nice, isn't it? Although this is my back garden. So, can't really complain. Hope everybody's enjoying their lockdowns. launching a brand new I'm back and I <laughs> Hello I'm back and I'm Hello I'm back Hello I'm back Hello 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 I'm back and I've got a fantastic Hello I'm back Hello, I'm back and I've got a fantastic <laughs> for anybody who's <laughs> Hello Hello <laughs> Hello I have <laughs> Hello I have a Hello, I'm launching a fantastic competition for any fans of the musical Rent. I first saw Rent in 1998 when I was only 16 and it was the first West End show that I ever saw and I absolutely love it. Now, as you might know, there's a brand new production of Rent happening at the Hope Mill Theatre in Manchester. But after only five performances, they had to close down the production due to lockdown. They did, however, manage to film the show and will now be presenting it to watch online. And I'm giving away a ticket to watch it online. Now the prize will include one online ticket to the Rent Gala Night on Friday the 27th of November, access to Rent Online, the exclusive Q&A and the Rent Party Pack, as well as some exclusive Hope Mill Theatre Rent merchandise and a programme. Now, if you've already booked a ticket, you can still enter for your chance to watch it again, or you could donate the gift to somebody else. For your chance to win, I simply want you to tell me why you love Rent and what the show means to you. You can do this in any way you like and in any way that inspires you. Maybe create a video singing a song or telling me a story. Or just tell me in your own words why you want to win this prize. And if you're camera shy, that is not a problem. You can simply drop me a message by email telling me why you want to win. And you can even enter on behalf of someone else and tell me why they deserve to win and what they mean to you. To enter, simply post your message or video on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag WhyILoveRent and tag that stagey blog and the Hope Mill Theatre. Or send your emails to stagey at thatstagyblog.com. The closing date is November 24th, 9pm Eastern Standard Time. I might even throw in a That Stagey Blog t-shirt. This is your chance to spread the love and tell me why you love this show. I cannot wait to hear from you. Look at these funky ass sheep. Look like they're going to a rave. Ooh, ooh. Love it. 
Get your colours on. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Oh, look. There's a rainbow. Um, just excuse my uh, fluffy hair. Just on my run. <sighs> I'd better get back to it now. Ooh, you want a piece of me, don't ya? <laughs> mm, Tasty. Yeah, but she's still just being a little cunt, isn't she? You know what I mean? And you're all jealous of my bouffon when I get it. Plus, I don't care if none of you speak to me again, because I'll be Becky with a good hair and in a rock band. Mm. And you'll just be poor Michelle. Uh-huh. Guess they didn't want me then. Never mind. Yeah, we got the heron. Poor thing. No, it's not eating my stores and my shrews. Got some visitors today. Hello. We had a drizzly day. But, uh, well, there it goes. We're off to a good start. Oh, this Natalie Green. Ah, oh, here she is. The incredible Rhea Jones, filmed live in her mother's living room. Fact. Oh, and now we've got the incredible Alison Chia coming up live. I love this show. I completely forgot how much. Oh, there's Daddy with his camera. Bless Alison, braving the elements, belting it out like a queen. Here he is, the man himself, Darren Day. Oh! Half gone. And there he is, Matthew Craig. So dreamy. Oh, some definite acting through song by some Tutty there. Oh, he's so adorable. Ah, oh, here's my boy up next, Daniel Johnson. Ruby Henshaw, wow! I think I need another drink. I do quite like Darren Day's new haircut. Since then. Steven Schwartz is hands down my favourite composer. I love this one. Where was he locked down? Looks stunning. What a garden. And these are all students from Italia Conti. Here he is, my little pal, Johnny Boy. Mr. 
the jump bar. This is a song that I had to sing when I did a school production. The gorgeous Sally Ann Triplett and Jenna Russell, who's not here, but she's on the big screen. Oh, the car park like that one. Oh my god, it's Jodie Steele. Um. wondering why nobody set up a fake OnlyFans site for me yet or signed me to a fake agent what's wrong with me come on Rent. I mean, what a show. I saw it at the Hope Mill and cried the entire time. Being a theatre kid, I found it hard to interest my family in theatre, but Rent is the only one that we all love. My mum can't drive, so my dad took me to see the show, but I want her to watch this incredible show. It took my breath away, and I'm sure it will take her breath away too. Stay happy, stay healthy, and remember, no day but today. Thanks, Dan. To win all this and possibly have your email read out by a member of the cast, enter before November the 24th at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. Let's talk about Rent. Well, where do we start? I think for me, I love Rent because one of the first times I listened to musical theatre, the first song I heard was Seasons of Love. And now it's one of my favourite songs ever. The soundtrack as well is incredible. Through the years, let's just say Rent has evolved so much. Now it's at the Hope Mill Theatre and I was so excited when all of the promotional pictures for the Hope Mill Theatre production of the show were released. And the all-star cast. Wow. Now it's so cool to think that my love of musical theatre all started when I heard the words 525,600 minutes. Charlie. To win all this and possibly have your email read out by a member of the cast, enter before November the 24th at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. Rent is one of my favourite musicals because of how expressive and open all of the characters are. I would love the chance to be able to see the incredible West End performers version of the show. Being able to see this show would be such a wonderful and fun experience, especially in a time where Broadway is shut down. Alison. To win all this and possibly have your email read out by a member of the cast, enter before November the 24th at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. This is an email from Sarah. I just found out about Rent two months ago. When I first listened to the soundtrack, I honestly fell in love. I loved the rebelliousness and power of the music and proceeded to watch every Rent production I could find and loved every minute of it. As an aspiring actor, I really connected to the artists struggling in New York and felt for them. I also really relate to them feeling like outcasts. As a very gender non-conforming person, sometimes I have trouble finding roles that I could potentially play. So I love the character of Angel, and I think that she is amazing representation and an amazing role for so many people. When I listen to La Vie Bohème, I always look forward to the line that Mark says at the end, anyone out of the mainstream is anyone in the mainstream. And when they all say, to you and you and you, and point at the audience. I feel like they're talking to me and letting me know that it's okay to be different and embrace it. They all have these quirks and differences, but that's what brings them all together and makes them such good friends, I think. It's also helped start up a lot of really good conversations with my mum and I, and taught me a lot about the AIDS crisis. I would love to win this giveaway because I've really gotten to love the cast and creative team. I also love the little differences from the original. Thank you, Sarah. 
To win all this and possibly have your email read out by a member of the cast, enter before November the 24th at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. I am writing this on behalf of my son, Robbie Davies. You might have heard him through the backstage bands. He set up interviewing Western stars and hosting concerts, trying to help them earn a bit of cash during this terrible time for the industry. I think Robbie deserves this wonderful and very generous prize for being so wonderful through lockdown. Despite having loads of theatre trips cancelled and his first trip to West End Live also cancelled, he's been amazing through and thrown himself into projects to help the arts. He did a full non-stop 12 hour singathon to raise money for Acting for Others and NHS charities together. He chose to split it as me, his mum, has been working through the pandemic as a nurse, dealing head on with COVID-19 and the support from Robbie has just been amazing. As you can imagine, I have come home from a busy, stressful shift, some in some emotional states, but he has just been there making me smile. Bath run and a glass of wine poured if needed. He does struggle with anxiety also, and the pandemic has at time enhanced that. But I am so proud how he's dealt with situations, and despite being worried himself, always putting others first. For a 15-year-old boy, I couldn't be any prouder and would just like to see him smile. He's an avid theatre fan and this would just make his year. Sorry for the long-winded post, but I just wanted to give him the best chance he deserves. Thanks, Lindsay. To win all this and possibly have your email read out by a member of the cast, enter before November the 24th at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. This is an email from Leah. I grew up in a very close-minded household. Homophobia, white supremacy and gender roles were very common. I grew up being told that bisexual people are greedy and this is our country, not theirs, to literally anyone other than white British. This never sat right with me, but when I was around 14 or 15, I started to realise I did not belong here at all. I didn't believe these things and I began to teach myself and unlearn everything I knew. I was watching an Adina Menzel video when I saw Rent appear down the side I listened and I was hooked. I watched the film and felt so free. I began to see the world I wanted to see and I learned that it's not only okay to be who you are, but it's cool to do so. Expression is perfect in this film and we should love without limits. The biggest thing I've taken from Rent is the power of friendships. My friends are now my family and they accept me for my true, bi, loud, authentic self. Leah. To win all this and possibly have your email read out by a member of the cast, enter before November the 24th at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. Hi, I'm Dee. Rent has always been a musical that is close to my heart. It portrays and expresses the battles within the modern world and it definitely shows how national governments in most countries can improve. Most recently, I think the outcomes of HIV and AIDS needs to be compared to other such data like coronavirus. Below, I have attached some data taken from the 22nd of May this year. Yes, the numbers have increased, but not by far. There is still a difference of around 23 million or even more. AIDS is looked down on and the world needs to focus on it more. I believe that rent really educates about life even more than a school curriculum does anywhere. Also attached, last year I had the opportunity to perform in the musical and it was amazing. I'd be lying if I said I didn't cry while performing every night, especially I'll cover you reprise. It felt like the cast was one big family and I really hope it does for the Hope Mill cast as well. To win all this and possibly have your email read out by a member of the cast, enter before November the 24th at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. Thank you to everybody who entered the I Love Rent competition with the Hope Mill Theatre. There have been so many entries and it was incredible to read each of them. And one lucky winner has been announced. However, if you would still like your chance to watch this amazing production, there are still some tickets available by going to hopemilltheatre.co.uk with some availability between the 27th of November and the 13th of December. And while you're there, you can also check out their online store for their entire range of merchandise.
So today I'm cooking on Sunday, um, Prosecco, obviously. Um, I'm making a pie. Well, I'm making two. An apple pie and an apple and bramble pie. Look, that's my door. So for my fillings, I'm doing apple, traditional, and um, apple and bramble with some homemade brambles from the garden. Homemade brambles? Homegrown. <laughs> Don't really have a clue what I'm doing, but you know, oven's on. Got some uh, beef going in. Oh, fit. Oh, sugar, flour, butter. Baked pie! Woo! Woo! and welcome to Start Spreading the News, West End Best Friends brand new weekly news roundup. We're here with all the latest staging news in one place and boy do we have a lot to tell you this week. Whilst a second... So today I bake red velvet cupcakes and shepherd's pie or cottage pie cottage i think it's cottage shepherd's pie is lamb isn't it and cottage pie is beef it's well it might be i don't know it's yummy so i've just bought some stamps christmas stamps has been well done 65p for a second class stamp when did they actually wait on when did that become so expensive been that long since I posted a letter. What is the bottom line? In terms of treatment options for hair loss, you can start with topical treat treatments like minoxidil. You can use tablets like deuterosteride or finasteride. Then you can use natural products like saw palmetto. Moving on to PRP, therapy, um, hair transplants, or you can become a Mandalorian. All of them have pros and cons to treat. Is she taking the piss? So I've decided that um, I'm just going to become a Mandalorian. Imagine being nine years old and knowing that all you ever want to be is a performer in the West End. Then imagine being bullied and picked on because of it. In July 2019, Jacqueline Hughes posted on Twitter about a little boy just like that. Hundreds of West End performers came together to send messages of support and solidarity to cheer up Charlie. Overnight, Charlie became one of the most recognised nine-year-olds in the West End and is now a spokesperson for anti-bullying. I chatted to Charlie and his parents as well as his singing teacher Jacqueline about his unique story. This is Charlie's story. Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear. So earlier this year, I was bullied by somebody who can now no longer talk about me or contact me. And recently, I've just found myself in a situation where I've been bullied into taking down a video that was about anti-bullying. Um, I'm just exhausted. People need to just stop masquerading behind things like be kind, if you're not. Be selfish. Be self-centered. Be self-serving. In a world where you could be anything, just be honest, if that's what you are. So I baked a couple of cakes. Can anybody tell me why they keep turning out like this? Any idea? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Help. Out on my bike. Definitely see me coming. The wheels on the bike go round and round, round and round, round and round. This is some sometimes shit going on here. Huh? Yeah. 
Hun, I topped up my Prosecco. I got my popcorn. I am persevering. So I've come to the fish and chip shop. It's not even open. Useless. I'm just here um, about to interview Duncan James, um, as you do. Can you hear me all right? Hello! How are you doing? Yeah, where are you? I'm in rehearsals at Proud. We're getting everything ready for the show. It looks um, so Christmassy. Yeah, it's Christmas. you got to go pull out. I'm going to be getting dressed up, makeup nice. on, wig on, heels on. I'm going to be coming out doing um, a, a Rocky Horror number, which I'm really excited about. So it's just a heels, not a wig? Got a wig. I've got makeup. Ooh. And I've even got some lashes. God, it's going full out for Christmas. I'm singing five, six, six songs um, in the show, and I'm comparing as well. You've done so much in your career. You've been a pop star, an actor. Which has been the most challenging? Um, working with Lee Ryan has its moments. <laughs> You've had an incredible transformation. Being being papped by a photographer in Hampstead, and I was with my friends, and we we're playing frisbee um, on a summer's afternoon, and I think it was Heat magazine. Uh, got the picture and, and kind of ringed out around my stomach. You know, most people in normal lives don't get named and shamed and then coming out as gay and getting onto the gay circuit and realizing, oh my God, all these gays, they're like, they all go to the gym. I remember watching you on Dirty da um, Dancing on Ice. Yeah. Dirty Dancing, what are you gonna say? Dirty Dancing on Ice. Yeah, I did two years in Hollyoaks, which was like, um, when I look back, it was just crazy. I don't think I've ever worked that hard in my whole life. People all think, oh, you're having fun being a pop star, flying around everywhere. But it was hard work. Next year is our 20th anniversary. We're hoping to do something, hopefully, if COVID gets you know, lifted and, and we get to be able to fly and travel again. Tim obviously tried to book you in for one of his cabarets at Above the Stag. Yeah, which we are going to postpone and do in January. So I will be doing that with him in January. Amazing. So you're going to yeah. be all over the place. Yeah, and then of course I got um, I got Slebs on a Farm coming out, and then I did a really fun other reality show, um, which will be coming out in January as well. So I'm I'm quite busy. I've been quite busy, and I've had an opportunity to do lots of bits and bobs. So probably going to be sick of me by the time come come February. But oh god, get off, get off the telly, you. And when are you going? Because I am I used to seeing you down at Freedom with Nathan Hunter Poe, but I've never seen mm. you get up and sing a song at Kinky Cabaret yet because the bitch never asked me. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Swag. Well, um, yeah, no. he, um, he, yeah, he's actually doing some cabaret shows. Um, he's got one coming up, and I know he does drag brunch. Yeah. Um, he's there. So, so yeah, I'm going to speak to him, and maybe I'll do a little Rocky Horror number, get my Frank and Furter gear on, and, and uh, perform. Because I do just love performing, and I love having the opportunity to, any excuse to get some heels on, really. Do you have a drag yeah. persona? Do you, does she have a name? No, I just do Frank, but I mean, you know, on a Friday night when I'm just at home on my own and I want to film my fantasy, I do have a drag name. Actually, Nathan knows all about it. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, me and Nathan both have, we used to live together, you see, um, not like that, but as friends, we used to share a, uh, share a house together and we used to have such a fun, fun time together. And uh, let's put it this way. He was called Natalie and I was called Dolores and, we used to have lots of shenanigans and dressing up days and getting heels on. I don't know why, but he had loads of heels. In the <laughs> room. He was like, let's get the heels on. Let's have a night. You know, it was fun. So yeah, we used to have a giggle in our house together back in the day. Yeah, that's a reality show in itself, huh? Dolores and Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? How are you doing today? Talkative. Oh yeah, you have your dinner. She'll leave you to it. Okay.